hello you guys thanks for tuning back into my channel um i'm gonna get y'all a couple of reads out okay they want me to do the karmic read so i'm gonna get that out here uh really fast it's not gonna be a very long read again thanks for tuning back into my channel um you guys won't get a chance to see me shuffle today okay this is gonna be a quick uh karmic read for the next 48 hours for this week of November, okay? We're gonna see what messages they have out here for y'all today, okay? This is gonna be the karmic read for this week of November. What is the messages that we need to, I need to receive for the karmic? Well, somebody's on shaky grounds, okay? tell y'all that right now. I'm saging y'all's cards, okay? Just to make sure we get a clear, good read. You know, I want everybody, I want for the read to come out fair for everybody. Okay, y'all? Somebody's on shaky grounds, though. That's what I see. What are the messages? And somebody's been already moved on to Karma Waters. What are the messages? And they're not trying to offer this person anything. And they're basically wanting to celebrate, okay? Somebody may have um, made a quick decision and was impatient, okay? I wanted to fall out, so. Somebody is standing in defense here, okay, Karmix? And there wasn't an offer that was, um, that there, the offer, was, there was an offer that wasn't given, and then somebody's no longer waiting for some ships to come in. Okay. Somebody here was immature though, okay? And somebody went on ahead and made a decision and y'all may have an apology coming in to y'all karmics. And what else? Or y'all may need to apologize to somebody. Somebody is not in love with somebody no more, okay? Or somebody don't want to offer them a cup. And this is stressing them out. Are they relieving some stress? Or this was a stress reliever. Okay, but somebody's trying to hold on tight to y'all. Are y'all trying to hold tight on to somebody? Okay, but there's no love there. Okay? This person is looking at a totally different person. Okay? Karmics. I'm sorry, but that's what they're doing. That's what I see. So, um, I think that, I don't see no kings up in here, whether this is for a defined masculine or defined feminine, somebody that moved on to some calmer waters, okay, they, they already didn't left. They not, they don't look like they turning around, neither, okay, karmics, and somebody, but somebody here trying to hold on tight to something, and probably trying to offer a fish in a cup, okay? But somebody here was immature. Uh, the lovers came in reverse. Somebody's laying in the bed, stressed or whatever, okay? The the hair fan, you know, somebody was needing to make a decision about being immature. Um, what other messages? Oof. But somebody got cut off, okay? That's what happened. Somebody got cut off, off out. Somebody didn't have the patience. But whoever this is, whether it's for the defined masculine or defined feminine, somebody's looking at somebody totally different. Okay? I 
I don't know. Somebody's walking away from some deception and don't want to take a leap of faith with somebody because the relationship was toxic and they don't have no love for this person. So whoever y'all got in y'all energy, they don't want to offer y'all karmics uh, what, what y'all was hoping for, okay? These people are, 11, 11 is about to hit and they're going to be offering somebody, what, what is this? What, what is the offer? Or whoever y'all's, mm, the queen, they trying to manifest a queen of pentacles, honey. But there's confusion about this, okay? There's some, there's a lot of confusion and arguing. Y'all probably got y'all family in y'all business. The fine masculine, the fine feminine is probably, uh, the karmic probably, they family probably take sides with, with, with that person. But somebody's needing to heal, okay? Somebody's needing to go into healing mode and get their chakras together and you know pray pour into yourself instead of pouring into somebody else that's what I think because y'all got options okay and all the deceit and deception that y'all done went through if it if it if it's well you know y'all know what y'all do you know I'm not in a relationship so I really don't know what it I mean, I know how it feels to be in a karmic relationship, you know, and the fighting and the arguing and the picking and the nicking and the one person don't really love the other person and then you just probably there for the kids or the money. Or it's just, it's really, it's sad, you know, but people go through it every day, y'all. They go through it every day, okay? And they will, they will sit there in that home with that person for years and suffer okay just because of some kind of codependent um thing that they have with that person okay because when you when you have soul ties with somebody you can get codependent on that person if that person is the one that's always handling the bills or is always there for the family or always that fam that person them people need that that one person okay so if you a benefit if these divine masculines or these divine feminines is a benefit to these karmics out here they not trying to let y'all go they trying to hold on to y'all because they are codependent on y'all and this codependency doesn't necessarily have to mean financial this codependency could mean that that person is suffering from some inner conflict and can't even heal that part, your childhood conflict. And they got so, so, so tied to this person to where they really can't see anything else but that. They're just really like just codependent. Oh, well, I might as well just settle for this shit over here because it's just the shit to settle for. And... I'm not going to evolve because, you know, I got to do this. I got to, you know, so, I mean, people do it every day, y'all, okay? And it's really sad, but it does happen, okay? So, I mean, hey, if, 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 if that's what rocks somebody's boat, if they life is so unhappy and they like, they like it, Hey, I love it, okay? So, I don't know, you know, maybe y'all need to seek some counseling or something because karmics, y'all still out there doing the same thing y'all are doing. It's still a whole bunch of confusion, a whole bunch of fighting, deception. Y'all holding on to something that, ugh, actually, actually, it makes me want to, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, it makes me want to throw up, for real. To think that a person can sit and suffer like that. It, 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 it's just, it's, it's very sickening, okay? So, what is the closing message for this? Please, it's still recording. Hold on, y'all. Let me get y'all's closing message.
I, I just, ugh. So, Karmic, that was y'all's message. Define masculine, define feminine, whatever. Just take it how it resonates with y'all. If the shoe don't fit, don't try to wear it, okay? But some of y'all might need to wear that, that, that karmic shoe. Y'all trying to put y'all foot or whatever, you know. And Cinderella's glass slipping on y'all foot is too big. Okay? So they they telling y'all to lay y'all burdens down. Okay? And change and grow into something. Walk away from stuff that no longer serves y'all. Okay? They say they keep saying that y'all you lay y'all burdens down. Some people need to lay their burdens down because they they didn't got so caught up in this in this. Oh, if 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 if, if she leave me, I'm a I'm a I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. And they mind is really like that. They mind is set like if she leave me, knowing goodness God dang gone well that that relationship is toxic. Okay. And there's no manifestation there. But they still will stay in them relationships. Okay? They'll still stay in them relationships. Because they're so afraid of stepping out into the 